Hello everyone! Today we will study about Happy Art Things with 43 using the learner's packet for this. Lesson 5, Week 5, Parts and Functions of the Camera, Point and Shoot. Everyone knows what a camera is. You probably have SLR, DSLR, or point and shoot camera, and there is sure to be a camera on your phone. At its most basic level, a camera is a device used to capture images. Cameras come in many shapes and sizes, and each is used for a variety of needs. There are two main types of cameras available today. The DSLR or Digital Single Lens Reflex and Point and Shoot Camera. Learning Task 1. Name the gadget. Guess the name of an object from the given hint pictures below. Ask any members of the family for help to unlock the word. Do this in your notebook. Answer number 1. Here are the images. Number two, we have camera and phone. Here are the answers. Number one, we have point and shoot camera. Correct. And number two, we have camera phone. Did you guess the objects or gadgets? What do you think is the main purpose of those objects you get? Learning task number two. Read and understand. Whether you are using the latest DSLR, a simple point-and-shoot camera, or built-in camera in your cellular phone, they all have common parts that you should know about. Parts of the camera. One, lens. 2. Viewfinder 3. Shutter Release 4. Image Sensor 5. Memory Card and 6. Flash Number 1. Lens Lens is the part that focuses and directs incoming light. A lens can be built in permanently or interchangeable. Most point-and-shoot and phone cameras are fixed and cannot be adjusted. Number two, viewfinder. A small window in traditional cameras through which you can look with one eye to focus on a picture. Most point and shoot and phone camera just make use of LCD screen for the purpose. Number three, shutter release. The button or mechanism that is pressed, click, or tap to. Four, image sensor. Image sensor converts the optical image to an electronic signal. Larger sensors generally can reproduce colors more accurately. Number five, memory card. Where the image is stored comes in different sizes and speed capacity. Number six, flash. Flash is used to augment lighting when natural light is slow or insufficient. Learning task number three. Identify the part of a point and shoot camera. Choose your answer in the box below. Here are the choices sensor, viewfinder, lens, and shutter release. Here are the answers. Number one, we have shutter release. Number two, lens. Number three, viewfinder. And number four, sensor. Learning task number four. Ask your housemate if you have a camera at home. If not, you may use your cellular phone camera. If you don't have your own, borrow from your parents, siblings, or guardian. Look and identify the parts of your cell phone camera. Then try to discuss its functions with your housemate. Learning task number five. Match the parts of the point and shoot camera in column A with the functions in column B. Write your answer on your notebook. 
Number one, what is the meaning of viewfinder? Number two, image sensor. Number three, shutter release. Number four, flash. And number five, memory card. Here are the choices. A. Used to augment lighting. B. The button or mechanism that is pressed. C. Where the image stored. D. A small window which you can look with one eye. E. Converts the optical image to an electronic signal. Here are the answers. Subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, like, and write your comment below. Number one, viewfinder. The correct answer is D, a small window which you can look with one eye. Correct. Number two, image sensor. The correct answer is E, converts the optical image to an electronic signal. Correct. Number three, shutter release. The button or mechanism that is pressed. Correct. Number four, flash. The answer is A. Used to augment lighting. And number five, memory card is used for where the image stored. That is correct. For our assessment, learning task six. Discuss the parts and functions of a camera. Write your answer on your notebook. Be guided by the rubric below on how you will be graded. Here is the rubric. We have criteria, beginning, developing, and advanced. Then, write the score that tells about the numbers of parts discussed and its content. For our reflection, write your personal insights about the lesson in your notebook using the prompts below. I understand that blank. I realize that blank. And I need to learn more about blank. Great job, everyone. Thank you for watching.